You know, we all have four chemicals occurring naturally in our bodies that contribute to feeling positive. They're called dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. If you want to remember all four of those chemicals, just remember the word dose. Dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. When we feel joy, it's because one or more of those chemicals is acting within our bodies. Of course, they serve a more practical purpose than just making us feel good. If you have a basic understanding of the power of these chemicals, you can harness them for your benefit. And I'm going to open you up to that understanding right now. I'm gonna explain what each chemical does and how you can regulate them to help get what you want from life. So let's take dopamine first. Dopamine is responsible for allowing you to feel pleasure, satisfaction, and motivation. When you feel good that you've achieved something, it's because you have a surge of dopamine in the brain. So it's the main hormone in our pleasure reward system. Dopamine is sometimes called the motivation molecule. That's because when it's released into your body, it drives you to get stuff done. It increases your concentration. That increased focus helps you take action, resist distractions, and keep going until you reach your goal. You know that I did it boost you get when you achieve something. That's the dopamine in action. It makes you want more. It gives you the thrill of the chase in life in every area, from sport to business to love. As I said, dopamine is also in charge of our pleasure reward system. It allows you to feel excitement, enjoyment, sometimes even euphoria. A warning though, dopamine is associated with the reinforcing effects of addictions like alcohol, drugs, gambling, and even mobile phones. If you don't produce enough dopamine, you can feel distracted, demotivated, tired, and lethargic. In the worst case, you might feel depressed. So how can you increase your dopamine levels? Dopamine is released when you take action that you associate with survival. That means when you eat, drink, have sex, make money. But of course, these actions can have positive and negative effects. So here are some excellent ways to increase dopamine in a positive way. Exercise, meditate, eating foods like bananas, almonds, and avocados. Some health supplements work well. So can well-chosen music, sex, sleep, weight loss, hugs, dancing, cold showers, and acupuncture. But there are some things that are worth avoiding that also increase dopamine, like sugar, caffeine, video games, pornography, gambling, cocaine, nicotine, alcohol. I mean, these are the obvious ones. And as you can see, many addictive habits make that list. You've really got to be careful where you get your dopamine from. The second natural high on our dose list is oxytocin. Oxytocin is the bonding hormone. That's why it's sometimes called the love hormone or the chemical of love. People who release more oxytocin within their bodies are happier and have more satisfying relationships. Oxytocin drives many positive human traits like love and loyalty, trustworthiness and courage. There's a downside to oxytocin as well though. Oxytocin makes you more protective of your tribe, your partner, family or social group. That sometimes leads to misplaced loyalty when you're surrounded by the wrong influences. How can you maximize the benefits of oxytocin? We produce the highest levels of oxytocin during childbirth, sex, or when we're in love. And it's not always easy to recreate those activities. However, we can encourage oxytocin production through all kinds of contact, from massage to stroking a loved pet, Exercise is always great, so is meditation, listening to music, even giving gifts. But another warning, smoking and stress eating can also raise oxytocin. That's obviously not how you want to boost your oxytocin levels. The third natural high on the dose list is serotonin. Serotonin creates happy feelings. Low levels of serotonin have been linked to depression. In fact, 
Many antidepressant drugs boost serotonin levels, although it's not known if they also have side effects. Listen closely because these foods I'm about to tell you about have been shown to increase serotonin levels naturally. Turmeric, dark chocolate, small amounts of, of course, green tea, oily fish and yogurt. But beware of alcohol, artificial sweeteners and caffeine because these will reduce your serotonin levels. Last on our dose list, we come to endorphins. We release endorphins when we feel stress, fear or pain. They are also our response to physical exertion. Endorphins work in similar ways to drugs like morphine and codeine in that they temporarily stop pain but can also bring on feelings of euphoria. If you've ever run a marathon or exercised at high intensity, you may well have experienced what's known as the runner's high. This happens when endorphins are released in your body. There are lots of ways to increase endorphin levels within your body. Some are positive and some are not so much. And here are the good ones. Exercise always, laughter, sex, meditation, music, acupuncture. On the other hand, consuming too much chocolate, chili peppers or alcohol are less positive ways to increase endorphins. As you can see, you've got many ways to regulate these natural highs. The way you choose depends on your goals and on your mindset. If you'd like an everyday example, here's one way not to do it. Sit around eating chocolate and drinking wine. You will feel good at the time, but you'll feel the detrimental effects down the line. If you can balance your natural highs just right, these chemicals will work for you, not against you. But get them unbalanced and they can become dangerous and destructive. You will never have total control of these chemicals in your body, but you do have some control by choosing positive activities, exercise and eating the right foods and avoiding certain negative things. You will feel the benefits that these chemicals bring. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click below and I will alert you to new videos, details of the live events that I'm going to hold and other updates. And of course, you can find out more information on my website.